Already. The time is now. The time has come. Anyways, I don't really know much about this game. <clears throat> All I can see is a white weaver, American. Seireki, 1935. In 1935. ホース。大船 ガリア戦役と呼ばれる戦いの始まりで。この戦いは、そこを守らんとすると、ガリア公国の勝利で終結した。しかし。but behind the scenes, another military unit helped to save Gallia without the public ever finding out. This has like some weird dithering effect on the sides. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Yeah, it should be fine now. Nameless. Wow. セレキ、1935年3月15日。帝国、アリア公国に戦線を布告。帝国軍第2万5機構士団が、ガリア領内に侵攻を開始した。3月20日に、東国国、第1万1機構士団が到着。ガリア領内に侵攻を開始した。3
prepare for our attack against the Imperial Army's 14th Armored Division's Vanguard. Lieutenant Kurt Irving, front and center. Wow, could they make this bitch look any more generic? Anyways, sir! I'm turning command of this battle over to you as Land Seal Military Academy's top graduate. Let's see the true strength of the school's highest scorer in history. Keep in mind, this is a translation patch, so it's not going to be edited, probably, for meter very well. Can he really do this? They say he's the best, but he's only fought in two engagements. I've heard that his first battery was a miraculous victory, but still. Almost all of us are new recruits. Are we going to be okay? Maybe the captain is planning on blaming him for everything. Settle down. Okay, Lieutenant, please introduce yourself. I'm 2nd Lieutenant Kurt Irving. I'll be commanding this operation. I will say this right now. Victory is assured for our troops. What do you mean? We will defeat the enemy vanguard without suffering any losses and then maintain control of the region. Defeat all enemies? Without any casualties? Easier said than done, buddy. Lieutenant Irving, please explain your plan. Our forces will form two groups with five men each, engaging the enemy directly and the rest circling to the rear to flank them. Only five men? That's what I say every time I walk in my bedroom. I'm like, five men, we need a couple more. Anyways, those five men will create a diversion to draw the enemy's attention. Afterwards, the main force will immediately ambush the enemy from the rear. Just like I would do, baby. This will guarantee our... Victory! Very interesting strategy. Proceed. Sir. Sir, yes, sir. Jesus. Jesus Christ. We're being attacked! It's the fucking enemy! Those galleon scum, they're starting a battle here, are they? Captain, there are galleon troops to the rear! What? The galleons behind us! They're launching an assault! The rear squad is a decoy. The main force is in the front. Continue the troops to continue forward. Order the troops to continue forward, rather. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> Cosmo, did you join the military? Is that why you bark it? Are you a barker? Advancing this game is done through the map and on dotted lines! To advance the game, access the map and follow the line! Selecting a story event will trigger a cutscene. Selecting and completing a mission will extend the line to advance the game. Although there is only one path right now, there will be branching paths made depending on choices. Now, select the mission that has appeared. Bitch. What in the fuck is all this fucking shit? Alright. In the vessel outskirts, Imperial troops have mounted a coup de main. Lead the Galleon army and defeat all of the enemy units. Anally, from behind. Like a man. No need to be scared, everybody. We'll definitely win this battle, because it's a tutorial, and if you fuck it up this bad already, well, I have a really bad... I don't know. Penis! Movement! When a mission begins, you will see a map showing each unit's position. This is known as command mode. In command mode, you can select a unit to move. 
Use the D-pad to move the cursor and press the circle button to select a unit. Try practicing how to select a unit, you stupid bastard. We're going to start moving out. There's no need to be rash for victory. Stay calm and collected. When movement is over, crouch behind the sandbags to reduce incoming damage. The basics are important, so never forget them. Movement. After selecting a character, you will enter movement mode. You can use the analog or D-pad to move a unit to adjust the camera left and right. You can use the L and R buttons or triangle and X to move up and down. When you start moving, your AP will increase. I mean, sorry, decrease. When AP reaches zero, you can no longer move. Please, use your movement to reach the sandbags in front. After learning how to move, next we must learn how to attack. In movement mode, press square to enter targeting mode. You can press L or R to automatically target enemies and then press circle to fire. Use the analog stick for manual aiming. Enemies will counterattack after being fired at, so watch your HP. Ba -da 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 -da. In targeting mode, the top of the screen will display three categories, kill, shots, and aim. Kill tells you how many bullets it'll take to kill the enemy. Shots is how many bullets there are in your gun. In other words, if shots is greater than kill, you can kill the enemy. Vice versa, if kill is greater than shots, the enemy is likely not to go down in one turn. Finally, aim refers to if you're hitting the enemy's front, side, or back. Side and rear armor is weaker than the front, so attacking enemies from the side or rear will reduce the number of shots that you need to kill them. Furthermore, the head takes additional damage, so aiming for headshots will also greatly reduce the number of shots needed for a kill. They explain in the third, third iteration of a game. Target captured. Excellent. Continue. We need to thoroughly eliminate them all. This is a basic strategy. When you decrease the number of enemy soldiers, their fighting power will decrease. Target the wounded or the weak soldiers first. Show no mercy. Ending a turn. You can only attack once per movement. After moving and attacking, it is best to return to command mode. Pressing start will end your turn and return you to command mode. Ooh, child, look at all these bitch ass slut hoes. They must die. In command mode, selecting a unit will consume a CP. CP? Oh god. Allows you to control units. You can continue to move units each turn until your command points are used up. When they are, you cannot select more units. At that time, your turn is over. <laughs> exactly. Using set. We already talked about this shit. Fuck you. Let me play the game, you fucking motherfucking slut bitch. Fuck! Jizz right in the eyeballs. That's how you get rid of those manly men. You jizz right in their eyes and they can't see anymore. God, why don't you know that? You're so fucking stupid. Jesus. One, two, one, two, six. I'm gonna penetrate you with this dick. Mm, 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 mm. I love blasting men in the face. That's why this is such a good game. You can just walk right up to a dude and blast him in the face. Like, it's perfect. It's what God wants. It's what God intended. Night night. Ugh. Wow. Relax. As long as you follow my instructions, victory is assured. You already said that, you fucking slut. We got an S for slut.
Stay alert. Don't get careless. Wow. Obvious advice is obvious. Uh, camps are things that if you lose, you get a game over most of the time. Don't leave them with nobody there, essentially. Probably is what that said, I didn't read it. We're already behind the enemy lines. Catch them off guard. We're attacking at once. Take them out in one blow. During movement mode, if you are within enemy territory, you may face enemy crossfire. Running through mortar fire is even more dangerous. You can take cover behind sandbags or other obstacles and end the turn to send backup. In order to quickly get a sense of where the enemy is, take a look at the line above the head. When you spot or are spotted by an enemy, a line from the enemy's head to yours will appear. Pay attention to the color. Blue means that you are still hidden. Yellow means you are discovered. And red means you will be fired upon. Paying attention to these lines is important in movement mode. You goddamn slut. Grass. Grass is made out of grass, okay? Alright. Crawl in that shit all damn night. Dirty. Concealed. Congealed. And fuck their ass with a surprise attack. God, how do you not know that shit? You're just a stupid little bitch. <laughs> Shoot him in the face! Shoot him in the face! Shoot him in the face! With your jizz. Every day. Until he likes it. Okay? Listen up. That's an enemy stronghold. It's a base, just like the base that we have. We need to take the base. If you take the base, the base of 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 the my fucking god. Just kill me. Oh my fucking titty. Kurt is dead. Kill me in my fucking face. Uh, okay, I guess I can't attack anymore. I think they need to rename him Kanye Meth, because he's obviously on meth. That's all I know about him. He's on the hardest of the drugs. He's made too many friends with conservatives that definitely don't have his best interests at heart. And he's lost his fucking mind, because Pete Davidson, the skinniest, whitest nerd of all time, is banging the shit out of his fucking wife. Stand by. Con <laughs> Congratulations, you dumb bastard. <laughs> the base captured just now is a linked base. That is connected to another. Capturing that base will allow you to deploy units to unit one. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my fucking titty. Kurt is dead. I'm sorry. My strength wasn't enough. Anyways. Jesus, can we fucking have more tutorials? I love it. I love tutorials. Fuck yeah. Fucking grass. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking shitting me on my fucking dick hole? God.
I love that it deployed all my characters at that one spot so that I have to fucking waste turns to remove them from that map and bring them over here. That's at least one thing that the Valkyrie Chronicles 2 didn't do. Valkyria Chronicles, rather. Um, they knew that that's, like, fucking annoying. Yeah, they did a better job. edit out the tutorial stages since they're completely fucking pointless. We won! Lieutenant Irving was right. It's as if we were destined to win this fight. It looks like he deserves his reputation. This kind of victory doesn't happen by chance. It takes sound judgment, keen perception, analytical ability, a cool-headed strategy, and a full understanding of the heart of the enemy. In short, he's a genius! Wow, really? It was nothing. I was merely given the conditions necessary for victory. Don't be so modest. You're destined to be great. As your old classmate, I feel honored. Hey, look at that. Troop activity in this area is starting to pick up. If Vassal falls, Randgrees will be vulnerable. Of course, the Galleon army is going to assemble here. You were just assigned here by HQ, and you can already strategically assess the situation? 
Isn't that how it should be? We should always try to anticipate the true movements of our allies and enemies. There's no way I could keep up with the mind of a genius. Ha ha! Hmm, that's the first time I've seen that kind of uniform. Captain, open your eyes! Captain! Don't die! Stand up, number 13. We don't have time to mourn this useless scrap heap of a human being. This is the way that things are. We will keep fighting these battles, and people will continue to die. Sending in a squad of infantry to obstruct a platoon of tanks is a suicide mission. Meanwhile, the main force used us as a chance to retreat. Our army is just so awesome. Damn it, they're sending us out as cannon fodder. Quit screwing us over. What's with that squadron? That's the 422nd, also known as the Nameless. They're a squadron consisting of society's worst military criminals and lawbreakers. Their punishment is to serve in that unit. HQ considers them all dispensable. All of the most dangerous missions are assigned to them. I even heard that if they violate an order, they're sent to the firing squad. I hope I never get sent there. It's all my fault, Captain. Because of me! A penal squad, huh? Uh, pardon me, are you the second lieutenant, Kurt Irving? That's me, sir. I'm General Major Carl Eisler. It seems you've pulled off another amazing feat. While the army already recognizes your talent as Landseal's top graduate, you still manage to exceed our sex expectations. I have a high sex expectations for you. I expect to see you again, naked, in my tent, looped up and ready to go. Sir! Sit on his face for a mustache ride. You can do it all the time! A general came to talk to you personally. There's no doubt your future is bright. I beg of you, please let me follow you. This is a time of war. The only things we must consider are how to fight and how to win. Bitch. Oh my god, it's Major General Eiler's quarters. Here they are, lubed up, ready to go. Gotta sit on that mustache, yo. Get out of my way. You're so stupid, I was here first. God, all you fucking bottoms are stealing all the tops. Look at you, you're barely like 18. Gross. A civilian in a military facility? That's rare. Oh. Is that Enabelope? What's this? Did that person drop it? The signature is from Major General Eiler. Oh. Thank you for coming. All over my face, Second Lieutenant Irving. Sir, I think I should first return this. God. Oh my, where did you find this? I bumped into a civilian on the way here and I think he dropped it. Just like he dropped his load all over your face, cause clearly I wasn't the first person to do that. You were already jizzy. Thank you, you did the right thing. How can I help you today, Major General? <laughs> fucking Major General, what a stupid fucking title. Anyways. I just wanted to give you some words of encouragement. Thanks to your outstanding talent, I'm certain there will be a day when you will be known throughout Gallia. Please keep this in mind from now on. <laughs> this fucking translation is so bad. There's too much please. Please keep this in mind. Please. I wonder if you saw the contents of the letter. I can't rule out the possibility. I'll need to act quickly. called for me, sir. Twice in one day, wow. You're really horny, aren't you? 
Ah, I have some regrettable news, Second Lieutenant Irving. Why? These orders are from command. Please take a look. It's in a book. The Reading Rainbow, motherfucker. Oh my god, these orders. Jesus. Are they real? This must be a mistake. God. These are your official orders, you dumb little cunt. You are hereby relieved of your current command and reassigned to the 422nd Squad. But that's all fucking criminals and shit. That's correct, slut. This is your penalty for treason. Treason? On what grounds? I demand a sex explanation, daddy. Uh. Honestly, I don't understand it myself. The higher-ups didn't think I needed to know. How is that even possible? God, Jesus. Starting today, your commanding officer is Lieutenant Colonel Ramsey Crow from Intel HQ. Report to him for your new orders. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. Jesus. So, about my gift. What gift? Don't you usually bring a tribute or something? You know, booze, women, that sort of thing. I received orders from command to report here. I have not prepared anything. Oh, gotcha. Anyway, your new name is number seven. Lieutenant Colonel Crow, when you say number seven, are you referring to me? Oh my god. He's a genius, but he can't figure out that he's been named a number. Fucking amazing. Starting today, you're part of the 422nd. What a goddamn annoying thing to say out loud multiple times. You no longer have a name, you dumb fucking cunt. There aren't any military records of any of your missions, so you guys don't need names. You're basically criminals, referred to by your penal number. It's the reason that the squad is called the Nameless. So basically a criminal, like what does that even mean? God. It's tough to say, but if you put your life on the line enough, you might be pardoned and returned to the regular army. So if someone recognizes my sexy achievements, I can be transferred? Hard to say. To be honest, I've never seen it happen. I'll try to be the first, daddy. Here are the orders from HQ for the Nameless next mission. Deliver them for me, you dumb little bastard. Understood, but before I leave, I'd like to know. Why is there a huge jizz stain all up in your chest hair, Zaddy? How the heck would I know? I fell asleep here drunk. Get going already. God. Here it is, the 422nd encampment. You there. What the fuck? Why are you talking to me? Ew, you're gay. Gross. Gah. Ugh. Is this how people in this squad greet each other? Jesus. It's not my fault. God made me a twink, you stupid bitch. My apologies. It's just that when you were behind me, when you spoke, I reacted by instinct because back in the 80s, my uncle, he like came up behind me just like how you did. And, well, I'm pretty sure you can guess the rest. Also, he was on math. <laughs> what is it, number 13? I don't think it's an enemy. Number 13, who is he? Uh, I don't know. I was transferred to your squad today. I am number 7. I'd like to speak to the captain. Am I being ignored? Uh, sorry, bye! What the fuck is wrong with these bitch boys? Ah, I didn't hear about any transfer today. Is there some kind of an emergency? Uh... Let me explain. And so in the end, I was transferred here. Well, there are plenty of people here on groundless charges, and some not even for something as bad as treason. Seriously? That's why I'm here. I'm number six. It's nice to meet you. I'm glad to meet you too, silly. 
I'm to deliver these orders from command to your squad leader as soon as possible. Our captain just died in the last battle. You said you're a second lieutenant? Perfect, then why don't you take command? Deliver that letter to yourself, you fuckle. Oh my god! Wow, I just delivered myself a letter. Fuck. There are no other officers here. You have the highest rank. Do you have any combat experience? No, I only have combat sex experience, but also I fought in two battles. Mostly with men that had mustaches that I jizzed in. Then there shouldn't be any problems. Let me see those orders. The mission. It's today. It looks like we don't have time to dawdle. Fine. I'll take command. God. Jesus. Normally I'm a bottom. I don't really like leading. Fuck. Please. Shut your goddamn mouth, you mindless idiotic whore. Kurt Irving, join the nameless. Stupid. I was transferred here today by headquarters. I'm number seven. I'm a bottom. Wow. Number seven's a second lieutenant. An officer? Oh my god. These are our orders from HQ. Everyone, listen up. Within 24 hours, we are to enter the town of Vassal and eliminate all enemy recon. Furthermore, as the regular army is already engaged with the enemy's main forces, they'll be unable to provide support. They're relying on us for quick and decisive victory. That is all. Another suicide mission. Oh my god, Jesus. Why is it always us? Um, can I ask a question? Forget it. You're better off keeping your mouth shut, you dumb little whore. As long as you don't say anything, that boy won't either. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, never mind that, Jesus. Anybody else? <laughs> Nothing. Then everyone, prepare to move out and follow my orders in battle. Why does nobody here have a mustache? God damn it. I'm relegated to a bunch of non zaddies. This shit is depressing. This is number 13 with a status report. The Imperials are currently camped down and resting. It's the recon unit, obviously. You're fucking so stupid. Jesus, why do I have to even tell you this? God, you're an officer. What the fuck? Roger, return to base. Sir, yes, sir. Jesus. This will be an easy flanking maneuver. Number six, has the squad been deployed? This is number six. I think it's best you come to the front yourself. It'll be faster to give us those orders. Fine. Headed your way. Make like a baby and head out, Zaddy. Jesus. What the fuck is this shit? It's as you can see. When I came back, all that was left was the tank. And this cute little message inscribed in the grass. It says, Tank you very much. Besides number 13, where is everyone else? Why wasn't I informed about everyone's status? There's still only one other person. It's number one. Oh, it's Ichiban from Yakuza. Number one, where's everyone gone? When we're so close to the enemy, this is not part of the plan. I know you're angry, but now is not the time to complain. The enemy will be on the move again soon. If we do not act now, they'll get away. What are your orders? This is unbelievable! Gah! What is that, a fucking jar of candy? Is he like fucking L from Death Note or some shit? What the shit is this fucking gay ass fucking bullshit? Anyways, what's up, number seven? Just give me a minute. Yeah, that's not gonna bust up your teeth. Okay, I have a new plan. The plan must now change. With our numbers, we cannot surround and eliminate the enemy. Number 13 and I will head around to the right flank and wait. Number 1 and the tank will head to the left flank and attack. That's it? This is a recon squadron. Their objective is to escape and return with intelligence. They will want to avoid battle and flee towards their right flank. That is where we'll intercept and annihilate them. 
Will this really work? If you're commanding a small unit in enemy territory, wouldn't you flee in the direction towards your allies? I guess you're right. I don't want to give the enemy any more time. Begin the operation now. We won. I wouldn't have imagined this plan going off so smoothly. Just who are you, number seven? I'm just someone sent here as punishment for treason. Do I need to say anything else? I understand why you're angry. I bear some of the responsibility of that myself. My apologies. What do you mean? I'm the one who pushed the squad leader role onto you. It's not just me, either. No one in the squad wants to be in charge. I noticed that. There's still one more thing that I must ask. Why did you only take four people with you to fight in that battle? Then I have a question for you, too. Why didn't you want to fight? What? Why not pursue the best result? What success can be gained from running away? Huh? Don't tell me that because you couldn't devise a solution, you decided to just ignore the problem and hope that it goes away. Do you think that running away would give you an acceptable solution? I cannot accept that mindset. Number seven. I think I'm beginning to understand the kind of person that you are. Do you find me strange? Not at all. You truly have the skills needed to lead this squad. I wish to fight under your command. Please, let me introduce myself again. I'm number six. Your true name and the nameless? Don't you just refer to each other by number? In general, yes. But we often call each other our true names as a sign of respect. That is the way of our squad. I hope you remember it. Understood. My name is Kurt Irving. Thank you. Um, number seven. What is it? I just want to say your plan was awesome. I was wrong about you. I'm so stupid. Jesus. She's still calling me by my number, so I guess she doesn't respect me. <laughs> Rah, ruh, rah. Ignored me again. This unit really does have a lot of problems. But I will lead them to gay homo victory and return them to normal service. It's the only way. Sluts. That being said, I don't think that so many members would blatantly disobey my orders. It's something I'd have never imagined in the army. I'll have to do something about it. Future battles will be just as difficult. What should be done about them? I never thought you'd sink as low as becoming a nameless. And you are? Thank you for everything you've done for us. He doesn't look like... He would be saying that with the demeanor that he has currently. Done for you? What do you mean? Annihilating the Imperial forces. All of the credit will be going to the regular army. That's just how it is. It's the only way to improve the regular army's morale. Keep working hard, you piece of shit. There's no such thing as trash on the battlefield. Right now, Galia has a severe shortage of troops. No one and nothing can be thrown away. What? So before you call others trash, think about yourself and your responsibilities first. You bastard! How dare you talk to me like that! God, fucking dishbag. <laughs> you are even lower than a nameless, even though that is the lowest rank that we have for people in these squads. What a stupid fucking thing to say.
rain on me. I'm Kurt Irving, bitches. I'll restore my name. Without fail, obviously. Gallian Regular Army Squad 422, commonly referred to as the Nameless. Which is a stupid fucking name. This is a penal squadron for criminals whose punishment is to carry out the Gallian military's most dangerous missions. No one knew what the small squad would play such a final role in ensuring Gallia's freedom. Jesus. Tripping over my tongue. It could be said that only number seven, Kurt Irving, understood what was truly going on behind the scenes. After the Imperial Army occupied Vassal, they moved towards Gallia's capital, Randgrays. However, the Gallian Army recaptured the Vassal Bridge on March 14th and began sending forces to Central Gallia to stage a counterattack. Naked. This prompted the Imperial Army to send additional troops to reinforce their positions in the north and south. I heard you were able to complete your mission, so how do you like working for the Nameless? It fucking sucks, dude. I can't think of any other way to describe it. That's what I thought I'd hear you say. Major General Eiler is very concerned about you. He says he's extremely sorry because even he doesn't know how you ended up here. I know what I am capable of, and the only way out of here is to be recognized for accomplishments. Anyhow, the Gallian army is unlikely to overturn its own commands, whatever the fuck that means. Your next mission will require guerrilla warfare. You are to occupy the Aslone Stronghold within the next three days. It wasn't my choice, the orders came from higher up, and I didn't want to stick my nose into it. Guerrilla warfare requires effective use of the terrain. I'll need to restructure the squad for this mission. Our next mission requires guerrilla warfare. This place is crawling with enemies, what can we possibly do? I can't believe they want us to execute some sort of strategy to capture the stronghold in three days. It's unbelievable. Besides you, number one and number thirteen, how many others are in the squadron? Right now, ten. Please find five members that you think would be willing to assist me. Understood. Everyone, please tell me your number and the reason why you chose not to participate in the last operation. What right do you have to ask us that? Don't think just because you're an officer that you can come here and show off. Hey, don't talk back, even though I think number seven's being a little bit impudent. Is that so? I think he's just cold and distant. Jesus. Everyone's speaking such harsh words. Doesn't really sound like it based on the translation. Anyways, to think these are the people most willing to help me. I also want to know why you didn't participate in the last mission. 
All right, we'll tell you. I'm number 15. I don't want to die, so I don't want to fight. Shock around Shock Street. I didn't want my comrades to die, so I picked the best alternative. I'm number 24. I wanted to fight, but everyone else held me back. Jesus. I hate fighting. I'm number 56. I'm number 32. We don't have a captain right now, so we don't have to do anything that we... You know what I mean? God. No captain. In practice, the captain of the Nameless is someone who everyone agrees is worthy. So even if your rank is the highest, you still aren't recognized as the captain as of yet. Come to think of it, my transfer to the squad didn't say I was to be its captain. I believe in you, Kurt, but you still don't have half of the squad supporting you at this point in time. In other words, your orders don't carry the weight that a captain's normally would. Are those official military rules? These are the rules of the Nameless. If you want to find out if they're official, then why don't you go ask Lieutenant Colonel Crow? There's no need. We all decided that you should be the captain. That's right, I respect you, not this guy. I'm not capable of being the captain. Besides, if a Darkson were to become our captain, everyone's wage would be lowered. They get money? I don't understand. This is just so bizarre. Anyways, but besides you, who else can lead? I believe that number seven, the guy that we already made the leader, is suitable for the position. You were absent for this battle, but I saw with my own eyes his capabilities as a leader. That's why I recommend him. If you are interested, please fight under his command once you decide that he's worthy. If after you can't accept him, then I will resume command. I wish for all of you to personally see for yourself. What do you say? Uh, if you say so, then we'll give it a shot. I always wanted to go anyway, so there's no problem. Jesus. I'll listen to number six. If number seven really made Gooserg feel that way, if everyone else thinks it's okay, I won't disagree. Thank you for your support. Kurt, from here on in, it's up to you to prove your strength. Alright, as far as I'm concerned, our next mission will be much easier than persuading our squad. Remember the details of the operation. The Imperial Army stationed in Central Gallia wants to use Aslon to reinforce their troops to the south. A small team can use mobility and guerrilla tactics to their advantage to eliminate the enemy. Once we have eliminated the enemy at the front, we will break into Aslon with one strike. That looks like multiple strikes though. And launch a surprise attack to capture their base camp and take Aslon. We have three days to complete this mission. Everyone, please do your part to help. We will absolutely win this battle. There's no need to be nervous. The game was just upset with me. Too upsetty. Not enough spaghetto. Various colors, I guess is the name of this. So, what does everyone think? My recommendation wasn't bad, was it? I feel like our victory was destined from the beginning. No casualties or injuries. Who can even remember the last time something like this happened? Captain, will all our battles be like this from now on? Hey, something like this impressed you? Number 21, if there's anything that you didn't like in the previous battle, would you mind telling me? What? I still lack some combat experience, so there will be times I don't satisfy everyone's desires. I'll strive to improve myself so that my mistakes don't show up in the next battle. So, please speak up. Uh, something I wasn't satisfied with. Just forget about it. One look at you and anyone can tell you don't have anything to say. Ah, I'm number 
32. Julio Hrasso. I will acknowledge you as the captain. If future battles are all like that, I'll acknowledge you too. I'm Amy Apple. I didn't know number 7 was even stronger than Gooserg, but that's fine with me. Annika Alcott. What about you, 56? I still don't trust him. I also need more time to observe. I don't understand all of you accepting me as... I don't expect all of you to accept me as your captain based on one victory. Uh, 56 and 21 are perfectly entitled to their own opinions, but I must thank you for giving me the opportunity to prove myself once again. That kind of thing doesn't need thanks. I don't really care. Our mission was successful, and you show enthusiasm. There's one thing, though. I don't want to participate with number 13 in battle. That's right. I don't want to die. Why do you talk like that about 13? Captain, you don't know. Isn't the Angel of Death quite well known in the army? If you want to know the story, ask for yourself, homo. I'll need to ask later. Right now I have five people supporting me. There are still six left to go. Now I'm gonna eat a bowl of Cheerios and fuck your dad. Because he's a dirty boy. Anyways. Kurt, the last five squad members are over here. Please, tell me your numbers. Ah, I'm number three. Are you disappointed in seeing an old granny? I was just asking for your number, not your fucking life story. Hey, hey, at times like these, you should be looking at a beautiful lady to gain other people's respect. Lady? I don't know what you're talking about. He's just an unfunny man. You're in need of some education, but you're quite lucky since I'll be here with you. Then I'm next. I'm number 11, the beautiful spy. For I am the Galleon Falcon. Bite your tongue. How dare a seven speak before a master? You've got some nerve. You misunderstand, for a knight must always be in front of his queen. Didn't you just say you were a spy? Looks like you need some education, too. Oh, I guess this is the only way a knight can serve his queen and remain strong. Slut. Can someone please tell me what the fuck is going on here? I'm number 23, the future queen of this continent. I will educate all of its worthless men. Ah, typical man-hating lesbian. What do you mean? Don't mind her, this squadron has all sorts of idiots. I'm number 45. Pleased to meet you. All sorts of people. Well, that's about right. Everyone's different. Just like history. Hold on. Supporting actors better not steal my spotlight. See, it's just like that. I'm number 12. I'll be quiet from here on out. That's everyone, Kurt. I want everyone to know that thanks to Kurt, our last operation was a success. So why don't you follow his orders at least once? I've seen his battle records, they're quite good. I guess I can give it a shot. Alright, let me see just how witless number 7 is so that I know how much I need to educate him. My body isn't very strong. I've always been sleeping, but this time... <coughs> As my research is put on hold for now, I have no problems. I always thought Gooserg was the most suitable for captain. Alright then, let me see your moral fiber. So, was everyone in agreement? Yes, these five members will be watching the results of the next battle closely, so don't mess it up. I understand. Our guerrilla warfare mission begins now. Everyone, prepare to move out. We did it. We fucking saw that movie. Uh-oh. A bunch of people have joined. Please, listen to what I have to say. Branching missions. A branching mission has appeared on the map. No matter which path you complete, either will advance the story. However, you cannot select the other unselected mission until the game has been completed. Do you understand? Then I wish you good luck. Destroy enemy supply crates. Or, destroy enemy supply crates. Wow. Alrighty. Alright. We did it.
I just ate some fried rice. It was muy delicioso. I don't know how that was supposedly guerrilla warfare as compared to the other battles. But the game says it is, goddammit, so you just fucking shut up and listen. I want to hear what everyone thought about the last battle. It was better than I expected. Every order was precise and without mistake. I thought we could have pursued them a bit more, but this is alright too. Not good enough. There's still room for improvement. Jesus Christ. But it's better than my command, isn't it? You still must drive the tank, so holding two positions would be too difficult. Better to let him lead. Oh, beautiful queen. What's your assessment? He didn't start fierce enough. Once I hit the field, then it'll be an absolute victory. I too am not satisfied with our current results. We will need to perform even better. That's the right thing to say. How now? Everyone's spoken their mind, so I think the answer is obvious. To have a gay orgy. Eleven men ought to do it. My name's Alphonse Auclair. Please call me the Galleon Falcon. Such insolence. Once again, you introduced yourself before me. Manners, manners, manners. What the fuck was she, a prostitute or something? These are more effective than the enemy's bullets. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't acknowledge you, you little bitch boy. I don't plan on compromising. I will become the best there is until you recognize me. I like a man like you. I'll educate you properly. My name is Serge Liebert. I will follow your orders. I'm Valerie. I'll use a historian's neutral mindset to evaluate your performance. How is our judgment? The suspicions of the elder are quite heavy, you little fucking hammer. Then over half of the squad has accepted me. I expect this means you'll accept me as your captain. Julio. Ami, Annika, Alphonse, Serge, and Valerie. If you add me on Insta, then out of the squad's 13 people, you have 7 supporting you. That's just enough. As a precaution, I'd like at least one other person. To fuck me in the ass. I don't think that'll be necessary. She'll acknowledge you. Don't worry. Have some confidence. God. Confidence is a long, throbbing penis, so just whip it out and just do what you need to do already. Cha. I thought you were purposely trying to avoid me. Do you dislike speaking to me, you fucking skanko bitch? It's not like that. It's just most people don't like me. Before I can get her to acknowledge me, I should probably ask her that question. Duh. Number 13, I know that you've been trying to hide your nickname, the Angel of Myth. I want to know what they told you about me. Will you tell me? In the squads that I used to be in, we were absolutely annihilated five times as the sole survivor of each battle. Everyone thought that any squad I joined was doom, hence the Angel of Death. Why the fuck did they call that? Oh my god. There's no connection between you being in a squad and the squad's defeat. But the fact that they were annihilated is a fact. Oh my god, who wrote this shit? The fact is no reason for all the blame to be placed on you. If someone believes that and doesn't let you fight, then the commander should be fired. But everyone... You will fight with me in the next battle, and we will break this curse. Eh? Just find us a normal battle and leave the rest to me. Did you know that facts are facts? That fact checks, and if you don't believe me, we should eat Chex Mix, okay? To summarize, today's operation will have number 13 and me form a small squad for the mission. The previous captain died because he was doing a mission with number 13. You're so fucking stupid! How'd you do this fucking stupid? Five complete annihilations and you want to be the sixth captain to die. You must be a madman. Say, you should forget about it. You're so stupid. Jesus. 
Let me tell you, this small squadron can't spare a single individual. If you want to stop number 13 from fighting, I have but one condition. Condition? I'll need people to do the share of two people. Someone to scout stealthily and achieve objectives. If someone can't do that, then I won't let number 13 fight. Is there anybody here that's capable enough? There's a guy who has the body weight of two people. I'm sorry to say, but even with me, I'm only 1.8 times the weight. Still we, but short of twice. And now I want to give that fatty a slice. La 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 la. I'm Granny. One person can't do the work of two. After all, we only have two arms and two legs. Then it's settled. Prepare to move out. Even though nothing was actually settled. This is some fucking translation. Wow. <laughs> A small Imperial squad has been spotted in the plains near ass. Kill everybody. They're all a bunch of dirty, dirty whores. <laughs> I won't drag anyone down. Jesus. So stupid. Fuck. The operation's beginning, bitch. Why won't you work with me? That's not it, stupid. I was just afraid that if number seven worked with me, then something bad would happen. Don't say that. If you use your extra time to worry about others, that means you have confidence in yourself. Or maybe it means that you're a dumb hoe. What? Well then, let's go and prove that you are not the angel of death. You should trust the squad leader. Trust? What's that? How stupid do you have a vision? Speaking more is pointless. Move out, bitch. What in the fuck am I doing here? Sploosh. Exclamation. like that. Who needs names? <laughs> Sergeant Tripper, commanding for duty. Duty. Am I just supposed to kill these people that have a yellow thingy? Maybe 
Maybe that just means that they're crouching or something. They're shooting an atomic bomb at this guy's face. What the fuck? So the enemy has just took all the camps back, because I guess there's fucking infinity of them. I, I can't even believe that shit just happened. What a fucking pain in my ass. Jesus Christ. I guess that's fucking blocked off because reasons. is the tank blocking this guy? I, I can't even with this shit. This game is just redonkulous. Sergeant Trooper. What a fucking name. What a name. Everywhere. This is the beginning of the goddamn game. I'm just blown away by how many enemies there are. Like, it's just too many. Too fucking intelligent, I guess. That's a good round. Why are you so stupid? It's really an odd choice to me that they decided to, like, just completely do away 
with showing the enemies attacking you and like you being able to counterattack and some of those enemies dying like I got murdered by one of the enemies but like I don't know how because it didn't show me and I'm like all right I guess that's a decision that was made of course you are sweetie We did it! Oh my god! Now we can follow Kurt! Jesus! Christ! The battle is over, sluts. No complaints from me! You're incredible! I wish I could be like, yo! To better off bottoms. I have no choice but to admit that this time, you were good. Indeed, in a small squadron, every single person's ability affects the outcome. But our performance still isn't to the point where one person is willing to die for another. Only incapable commanders would use the Angel of Death curse as an excuse for being wiped out. This lad has quite a way with words. Oh my god, Jesus. How disappointing. I've lost another man to educate. Don't worry about it, slut. The planet still has plenty of men for you to help. Don't tell me you thought my brother was like that. That seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to say after that. Totally. In war, people will naturally develop superstitiones. But there will be people who look for unlucky signs. Some will fight better, some will just split hairs. Everybody else is a homosexual that thrives on gagging on jays. From now on, 13 will participate in battles. Do you all agree? Yes, sir. Give me a titty honk for good luck. Fucking eh. Boing. Honk, honk, bitches. I'm so sorry. I gave you all a lot of trouble with my titties. I was just trying to be a diplomat for Squad 422 and just doing what needed to be done. If you can cooperate with the other team members, then this will greatly increase our strength. Is this not my responsibility? I know your thing's right. God, why are you so fucking stupid? But like this... What's wrong? I'm very happy. I feel like somebody will be finally able to infiltrate my vajazzle. After the battle, people wanted to talk to me, although not everybody. I was born like this, so ever since I was small, people thought I was weird. But just now, they said, I can't think of how you're different from normal people. Without the captain, this wouldn't have been, like, the situation. I'm so happy. Number 13. Are you crying? My name is really, uh, stupid. If you don't mind, can I call you Kurt? You fucking idiot. Of course you can. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. You're discriminating against me. Does anyone have any fucking poison tablets that I can kill myself with really quick? You're not crying, but you're angry, Rila. I'm not angry, you're so stupid. Are you trying to solve my problems or make fun of me? Should she be angry? Another fucking episode of hetero people falling in love for no reason. Jesus Christ. Number 13 has acknowledged you. That means you have over the half required. Those who haven't at least won't fight my orders except for one. Is it number one? As far as I can tell, she has the capabilities of an elite soldier. That may be so, but she has her own problems, like being a fucking bitch. She's an incredible fighter, but she's a fucking vile bitch. Unless you take the initiative, she won't say a word. But being ignored by her is very common. Don't tell me she's like that to everybody. However, for our future battles, we will need to depend on her. In the battle for S. Lone today, I ask number one to join. She has a large appetite for battle and penis. No one really knows why. I hope she can help. 
I too hope that's the case. We should start preparing her bejazzle. Obviously, so bad. Jesus. I need to get some crazy Russian how to like wax her bejazzle down. It's the only way. Number one. Before we set off, I should go see number one. That's the launch stronghold. That place is certain to have a planet suitable for me. Ah, you're over here, number one. Today's battle? No. No, I won't. Fuck you. I haven't said anything yet. Get back over here. I need to insert, like, a get over here claw from, like, Scorpion in this. Get over here! Let me write it down. What are you doing? Where are you going? I have something to say. No, you don't. <laughs> Wait, bitch. Get over here! This place should be good. Obviously. Did you think I wouldn't catch you? You hid yourself very well, but I'm a professional tracker. You have a light frame, but if you carry that heavy weapon around, you'll leave footprints. I have nothing to say to you, obviously. I don't want to hear anything from you, I want to tell you something. No need, I already know. I'm a person that hates being interrupted. I didn't think you would be even worse than some of the others. I have no interest in you, obviously. So be it, then I'll just stick to the important things. Number one, your firepower will be necessary in taking as lone stronghold, don't you agree? This has nothing to do with me, you're so stupid. Is she going to say anything that doesn't contradict others? Such stubbornness, I wonder what caused it. I should try to find out more later. Our mission is to capture the fucking city. Motherfucker. Alright. I just let her die, that'd be kinda funny. I wanna beat the two bit slut. I have no choice but to fuck the butt. Right in the butt. Every single time. I won't fail. Probably.
Flash. Bullets just disappeared into thin air. The camp was cock, you pied. I'm a pain ass. I need some cocaine. The attacks are so precise, she's not missing a single target. That's her strength. She's so young. Where did she have the time to build such a fine weapon? Without a doubt, she's the main strength in the squad. No matter what, I must find a way to get her to accept my leadership. We finally captured the Imperial Stronghold after we turn over to the regular army. We're headed back to base camp. You finally got your subordinates to listen to you. We're finally acting like a normal squad. Next! Thinking about number one, are you? If you could get her to join in the main force, the strength of the squad would improve. That's right. How much do you know about her? Darksons tend to stick to themselves, but I've never seen one like her. I think you should know, every country in Europa persecutes the Darksons. P 
people blame the Darksyn Calamity and the Darksyns for all of the troubles in Europa. That's why we've been stripped of our surnames and can barely survive in any country. It's for that reason that Darksyn share a strong bond. But number one doesn't even socialize with other Darksyns. Is there anything else I should know about her, you stupid idiot? I know that number one has been in the Nameless for the longest. But she's so young! I heard she's been here for two years and that Lieutenant Colonel Ramsey Crow recruited her himself. If she was recruited, then does that mean she entered willingly? That weapon she uses isn't the standard issue. That might be related to it. I understand the situation more or less. It looks like I'll have to talk to her some more. With my penis. I have nothing to say to you. One minute I'll be enough. Just listen to me, bitch. No. Alright then, just pretend I'm talking to myself. It's up to you to listen. As a soldier, I think you're one of the best. If this squad is to continue living, we will need your assistance. Gooser told me that you joined the Nameless voluntarily. Also, that you've been here for two years. I think you have some sort of goal, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Aren't you gonna say no? No need to answer you, bitch. From here on, I'm not talking to myself anymore. I have a suggestion for you. Do you want to make a deal with me? If you have some sort of goal, when the time comes, the Nameless and I will help you do it. But as part of the deal, we need your help right now. I want to live, gain amnesty, and leave the Nameless. In order to reach that goal, I'm going to need your help. If this small squad has even the smallest bit of meaning to you, I think you'll accept my proposal. It's not a possible. Then, you mean to say you'll accept my proposal? Oh my god. Yes, I did it. Listen well, I'll only say this once. Um, ka. What the fuck does that mean? Oh my god. My name, this is proof of our promise. As long as you keep your bargain, I won't betray you. Your name is Inca? Does that mean you trust me? If you break your promise, I will kill you. Understood, Jesus. I'm Kerr, it's nice to meet you, slut. Number seven, I'll listen to your orders, but this is a business deal. Nothing more. I have no reason to call you by your name, nor is it necessary. Alright, as you wish, you little dish. I was able to get the most promising result. This squad's future is looking bright, obviously. And it's all thanks to me. Oh my god, I should pat myself on the back. Look how fucking awesome I am. Everyone else is stupid. It is me. I am the one true awesomeness. God damn it. The Nameless capture a crucial location in Central Gallia, the city of Asalone. This greatly weakened the strength of the Imperial Army in the central and southern parts of the country. The Imperial Army suddenly slowed their pace of attack and plans to attack the capital were changed. The central front turned into a stalemate. So bad. Chapter 3 In early May, the Gallian army counterattack in central Gallia had become deadlocked. As well as foreskin docked, baby. And the Imperial Army had begun an offensive in the northwest. 
it would be only a matter of time before more than half of Gallia would fall into enemy hands. Oh my god, that sounds really serial. Super serial. Early March, 1935. Gallian Headquarters. Your next mission has arrived. Some militia regiment wants assistance from the army. The orders from command say it's the 3rd Regiment. Those guys are fighting in Central Gallia and are deadlocked with the Imperials. They have less and less troops, but the Gallian army isn't lending them any help. Within 96 hours, you are to join forces and break the deadlock. Can you do it? I know that the death penalty awaits for those who refuse. It looks like you finally understand what it means to be in the Nameless. One more thing, on the road to get to the militia, the enemy set up a shitload of landmines. There's no time to take a detour, so you'll have to find a way through. Through the landmines? Jesus, oh my god. Yes, so your mission is to break through the minefield, join with the militia in the next 96 hours, and they'll break the stalemate, bitch. Now, I won't be able to help the army. Oh my god, this is so weird. It's like you're sending me on a suicide mission or something. Jesus. And that's our mission this time, idiots. Go through a minefield? Easy for them to say. And you say there isn't enough time to disable them? Why is that? We need a rendezvous with the militia within the next 96 hours, so there's no time to clear them. Then why don't we just be careful and not step on them? Yeah, but how can the tank and our supply convoy be as nimble as a person? Let the men walk in front of me. I'll watch their performance from behind. Stop joking around, you stupid, vile fucking badge. This is why I said we shouldn't let number seven be kept in so quickly. Why don't you listen to me this time? Use your brains before you accept a mission. Jesus fucking Christ. Charging in recklessly will not do. Kurt, what's your plan? It's so simple, Jesus. My plan is to completely eliminate all of the Imperials around the minefield, you stupid fucking badge. I don't understand what you're saying. Do we even have enough time for that? If we can defeat the enemy, we can capture their supplies. I'll figure out the rest later. You bastard, are you telling us to be trash collectors? How sure of this plan are you? This is the most safest and the most efficient method, obviously. God, how do you guys not know that? Did you even go to school or college or get your master's or a PhD? Jesus. Is it really safe? I'll go. If I can do it, there's no way I'll back down. I support the plan as well. If there are no alternatives, we must listen to the captain. If we sit here worrying, we're just wasting time, obviously. Even if we successfully get past the minefield, what good would a small squad of reinforcements be anyway? I think this is just some policy to appease the militia. Our captain's life is in the hands of idiot pigs giving unreasonable commands. I won't let the Gallian army cripple our squad by sending us needlessly to our deaths, obviously. My plan to break through the minefield is also based on such reasoning. You talk big, little baby boy, but if you're just another man with a big mouth, I won't hold back. Uneducating you. Oh, 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 this is gonna get quite interesting. I think I'll go on ahead, bitches. <laughs> Number 23, will you help me educate those who are interested in the plan? I'll go, silly. Me too. It'd be wrong if I didn't go as well. Such is the power of the captain's orders. Everyone, don't be discouraged, otherwise I'll kill you. <laughs> Quickly, prepare to move out. Motherfuckers. Everyone, listen to me. We're now starting the push to help the militia at the Central Gallian Front as they are locked in battle with the Imperials. It's super serial. We're heading off from Melvier, then passing through the canyon heading east. We will have 96 hours for this operation.
once on the road, we need to eliminate all enemies the minefield has, so that we can take their supplies. Based on my plan, after eliminating the enemies through the minefield, we'll join forces with the militia. After meeting with the Gali and Michelis 3rd Regiment, we still must win the battle. That's our mission. Everyone, be on high alert. We're moving out. Stop ads. Clarissa has joined. Director Matt can now be used. Kurt Irving was promoted to captain. R&D rank is now level 2. New weapon A is available. Please give a warm welcome to the newest member to join the nameless. Fucking idiots. Hi. My name is Clarissa Callahan. Before I came here, I used to be a nurse. But then I killed a bunch of my patients for no reason. If you have any troubles, just give me a call. <laughs> Kurt has become an excellent leader. He gets extra CP. Please listen to what I have to say, stupids. Orders. Kurt can issue orders. They basically are positive status effects that last for a temporary period of time, such as a turn. Alrighty. I am starting to lose my voice, so I'm gonna call this an episode, and I have some editing to do. Uh, once we've done with that, I might hop on for one more, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time here on the Bunny Channel.